Fourteen months after Jamal Khashoggi was last seen walking into the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, where his fiance Khatije Cengiz waited for hours before calling for help, a Saudi court has issued a verdict. The criminal court in Riyadh has issued a preliminary sentence against 11 of the accused individuals, and it is as follows, the death penalty for five, and they are those who directly participated in his killing. May he rest in peace. But senior Saudis with close connections to the royal court have been cleared. The court ruled there was no proven involvement of Saud al Qatani in the murder. He was advisor to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman before his sacking, soon after Khashoggi's killing. The Turkish chief prosecutor's office in Istanbul filed a warrant for Qatani's arrest a year ago. In June, the UN Special Investigator Agnes Calamard said intelligence agents had identified Qatani as a hit squad ringleader. I have um, insisted that the killing of Mr. Khashoggi is a state killing. It is not a killing by rogue officials, as the country, uh, the government continued to, to pretend, at least under international human rights law. And she urged the world to sanction the crown prince and his assets until he could prove his innocence. That hasn't happened. Exoneration, too, for former Consul General Mohammed al Otebi, who showed journalists around the consulate in Istanbul. Also cleared, Ahmed al Asiri, the kingdom's former deputy intelligence chief. Start drawing a plan about others. The journalism watchdog Reporters Without Borders says justice has been trampled. Why did Mohammed bin Salman, he was in contact with Saad al Qatani just before and after the murder? of Jamal Hashoshi. This is what the CIA based in part its decision that, that Mohammed bin Salman was very high probability responsible for ordering the killing. So yeah, lots and lots of questions. This verdict will do nothing to quell those questions and it raises many, many more questions. Uh, there is no such thing as fair and open justice in Saudi Arabia. Despite intelligence agencies, including the CIA, saying Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was probably involved, the White House shielded the future king from absolute responsibility. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. And following intense criticism and skepticism that little happens in the kingdom without his knowledge, the Crown Prince eventually had his say. Absolutely not. This was a heinous crime. But I take full responsibility as a leader in Saudi Arabia. The identities of those convicted were concealed during the closed-door trial in the capital, Riyadh. And it remains unclear what roles they played in Khashoggi's death, raising suspicions that they are the fall guys for much more powerful Saudis. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.